How are y'all doing today, everybody? Artificial Dragon reporting. Welcome to Once Upon a Coma. Now, this has been a bleh, this is a horror game that I found on Game Jolt a couple weeks ago, and uh, there is a uh, Kickstarter site for it for it to be funded, you know, and to have the developers do more on the complete game. Of course, this is just a demo, as you could tell right here. Uh, so I decided, why not just play this game and spread some awareness, give uh, developers a good word and whatnot. Uh, they didn't ask me to do this at all, just thought I'd make that clear. This is just something I wanted to do. And the art style of Once Upon a Coma does look pretty nice and very crisp. So... Yeah, the menu just looks amazing. So yeah, go support them on Kickstarter. I'll provide a link in the description below. But anyway, let's get right to it. And see what we got ourselves into. I'm just gonna do this in one straight shot, since it is a demo. Ooh. Very, very nice. Okay, so... So... Do I click? Or, uh... I'll probably have to look at some of the mouse buttons. Uh, no. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Okay, so I, <laughs> that was the space bar. Nothing I needed to do at all. I'm, uh, I'm guessing I have to figure out what to do. Okay. So. A. Oh, I get it. C, D, E, F, G, F, G. Okay, so it does make use of a keyboard. That's actually pretty interesting. But how does that help me? I am not so sure. Okay, there it goes. That's pretty interesting. So how the hell do I jump? Oh, I get it. That's the secondary controls. Besides the uh, arrow keys, there's also the A S D W F G. Ah, whatever. So that's nice. No, there's a secondary set of controls. All right, let's go outside. Rendition Park. Yeah, the graphics really look nice out here, and the ambiance. <laughs> that a happy tone. <laughs> Locked, of course. Hi, dude. How are you? Locked, of course. This is such a happy little town. Hang on. Yeah, this one isn't locked. Osium's ba Barbary. Can I get my hair cut? That's what I want. A, masa a message is written on the mirror. Read. B A C. Pete, don't forget about our favorite place. Lily. Okay, this seems important, obviously. B A C. B A C. B A C. Okay. Maybe I should play that on the piano when I give a chance, but anyway. I'm gonna explore this place. There is a, a cassette machine. I don't know the exact word for or definition for that, but it plays music, so obviously. <laughs> uh, can we go up here? No. And... No, I cannot. Unless I've, there's some controls I don't know about, but whatever. <laughs> Long time no see, Pete. It's me, John. Hi, John. What do you think about my hair? I've ha I've been growing it out. Yeah, your hair kind of looks nice. It looks kind of like a girl's. Is it a girl's? Ah. Uh, well, I'm going to assume. I'm not going to assume gender or anything. <laughs> I think it's fab. I'm a... I'm gonna be a girl this school year, I think. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I bet the gang will be super glad you woke up. It's been weird since you fall asleep. Yeah? Yeah, it's spooky without the grown-ups here. Lily went looking for them, and then Raffi bar barricaded the entrance to Refian Field behind me. But grown-ups? What do you mean? Yeah, Lily was freaking out because they just started disappearing. As for me, I think it's rad. <laughs> Rad. Lily? You know, Lily, your sister. She said something needed to be done. About? 
It's kind of weird. Ever since the grown-ups disappeared, things have been... odd. But whatever. As long as I could get to eat ice cream and bacon for dinner every night, I couldn't give two farts where the grown-ups are. Oh, that is every child's dream when we were young, huh? Yeah, there's the impenetrable barricades made of crates. A little child could never make it past there, but anyway. Locked, okay. I'm going to uh, go back to the piano. B-A-C, B-A-C. I wish I could go up there, but I don't know how to go up there. I will eventually, though. I promise. Anything over here? Did I go over here? Nah, this, this is where I came from. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. So, is there a jump button somewhere? Aha! It's a Z button, okay. There we go. B. A. C. Aha! I knew it! Artificial Dragon is a genius! Anyway, secret passageway, here we go. Oh, not a secret passageway, more like a secret hiding place. A Cam's Razor. A straight edge razor with an intricate backwood handle and a very sharp, heavy blade. It aches for a painfully close shave. Huh. Oh. Well, now I got my own weapon now. Are we gonna be fighting some monstrosities sometime soon? And what's this? Is this supposed to be a bed or something? Or a hiding place, I'm not really sure. But really nice, really, really nice. And, uh... I'm, I've gotten a lot smarter recently because, uh... You know, stuff. <laughs> uh, nice giving of little hints here and there. But Z and X, new buttons to look at. Now I could go talk to the boy with the baseball cap. Uh, just, yeah, that one's locked. Just gonna go around here, then go up this slope that I couldn't go up previously because reasons. Locked, of course. Everything in this town is locked. Hey! Who are you? Haha, <laughs> I can't believe it's actually you, Pete. Yo, we honestly didn't think you'd be out of your coma. What coma? It's been a while since you were awake, Pete. You really don't remember what happened? Nope. Probably amnesia kicking in. Well, I'm glad you're back. I do wonder, though, if, if you've still got it in you. What? Man, you've really forgotten everything, haven't you? We used to call you the Slice. The Slice? You had the coolest razor from your dad's barber shop. And? That thing was sharp. Your sister thought you were so cool. Where is she? She tried to be all macho and go find the grown-ups. Ever since they went missing, she acted like it was a huge deal. It's not. Not in my book. Okay. So, pretty much all the kids, minus my sister, are pretty much okay. Now, I understand that it's uh, every kid's dream to uh, be all free, macho, and do whatever the hell they want, but there's a reason why parents are here. So I guess I gotta find my sister, and now that I have a razor... Yeah, take that, crates. Impenetrable blockade my ass, or more like my butt. <laughs> Oh, Reddington Field. This is nice. Pete, it's me, Bird. You woke up. Hey, what's up? I'm locked in his cage. That's what up. You sound upset. Your little sister went to look for the grown-ups. I told her not to, but she ran to the Shellian Wood. Really? Yes, and dude, the grown-ups, they're all gone. All of them. They just started vanishing. Yikes. So listen, Pete, your sister has been gone for a couple weeks. Oh, shit. So this hasn't been recent. It's been a couple of weeks since she disappeared. And it can't be good. You might want to prepare for the worst. Let's go find her. Okay, quick, get me out of this cage, and let's head to the Shellian Wood. Okay. I'm getting a little claustrophobic in here, man. Would you mind? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you're free. You look more like a, uh, 
a uh, fly than a bird, man. Unless you're a firefly that's named bird. Whatever. Hello! Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Pete! Up here! Do you see me? Yes. I can see you like a mile away. That's none of your business to look at me, the mighty ninja, Gumboyasa. You don't know how amazing my swinging powers are. Cool. Warm buttholes, but that's neither here nor there. I swing, swing all day, and hide from the spiders, you know? Sure. Totally glad you understand, most people don't understand. Hey, where have you been all summer, Pete? A coma. <laughs> just so blunt. You're funny. We all know you were just sleeping in, doofus poopus. Man, I'm funny. Wanna be funny friends? Yeah, sure. Great. I'll be here being funny and powerful. You should go now, okay, funny friend? Watch out for the spiders. They're starting to get worse than all the grown-ups deciding to disappear. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for those damn spiders, even though I don't hate spiders. Man, you're a fat dude. Hey, Pook Face, get over here and help me! How did this happen? Isn't it obvious, Pook? No. I have hypoinflates disorder. I inflate randomly. What can I do to help? Almost oh, people just say you're fat. <laughs> that is so mean, but I'm gonna do it just for the heck of it. I've been eating cream cheese tacos all summer, and my mom wasn't here to give me my insulin, so I inflated. <laughs> oh god, it's a disorder, but you won't know, would you? Sleeping all summer like a lazy butt. Did you hear that? I swore. What can I do? Give me my insulin. Are you deaf, poke fart? Oh, if you're gonna give me that attitude, I might as well leave you in that well. Where? Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it out of my pocket and ran up a tree. I'm on it. Okay. Why are we helping this asshole? Okay. Just there dancing. Watch out for Pokey. It's me, Punky. Why are you acting insane? I'm insane with dance. I can hear music on my mind. And I just dance pretty much all day and night. Really? Nah. Want to hear the real reason I'm dancing? Sure. Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Want to know what he said? Yes. He said if I ever stopped dancing, they would pinch my love butt cheek off and feed it to your mom. <laughs> you stupid little punk. Okay. I don't really give a joke, but whatever. All right, time to find those damn spiders. Oh, there's a spider. Hi. You actually look quite cute. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Alright, die, die! Oh, I didn't know you could hurt the pumpkins. What the hell? Is... What the hell? What is this? Okay. Maybe there's something I have to cut up there. Huh. I don't know why that is doing in the middle of a field, but whatever. All right, spiders. Time to meet your maker. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Stupid one-eyed spiders. You're not real spiders. Spiders have eight eyes, not one. Pete, check it out in the tree. Is that the insulin? Grab it, bird. Thank you, bird. <laughs> oh, wow, you're really strong carrying that giant ass needle that's like 10 times your size. <laughs> anyway, alright, why are we, uh, wait, couldn't we get him out of the well first and then give him the insulin? Because I'm sure he would just drop down to the well. Alright, fat ass, here you go. My insulin, give me my insulin, and make butt face. Okay. Pop me, it hurts so bad, but you have to pop me. One, two, three, go, 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 stab. <laughs> Uh, down you go. Knew that would happen. Ah! <laughs> Why don't I go down the well? Whatever. Oh! Wow, that was quick. Man, I really wanted to uh, play more of that, and it's exactly 15 minutes since I, uh, almost 15 minutes. But yeah, the Kickstarter. That was the demo. 
I really, really want to play the full game of Once Upon a Coma. That was just an interesting experience, and all I got to do was slash some spiders with my dad's razor. Oh, that was fun. That was really, really fun. But, uh... Yeah, just, just get, you guys support the Kickstarter uh, for Once Upon a Coma. I uh, just wanted to give those creators a shout out, give this game a try, and uh, once the full game comes out, you will be expecting me to play the heck out of it, because this is a unique looking game. I, there's not a whole lot of or aspects so far, just the fact that uh, all the parents of the children of this little town are disappearing for no reason, as far as we know. But I am, I really enjoyed that. I wish it could have been longer, but alas, that's what demos are for. So, anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Be sure to check more horror games that I've done. And as always, fly with me, Billy Dragons. Until next time.